Hi folks! And once again, Jesse has his class in the background, uh, so sorry if it's hard to hear me over ABC Mouse at the moment. Um, I am going to show you how to take the salmon patties that I made in my previous video. The nice patties that are my salmon version of Ina Garden's famous crab cakes and going to turn that into a delicious low point salmon burger. And yes, I just wiped my palm on my pants. I'm a dad, that's what we do. At least it wasn't my arm here. Um, so pretty much, I toasted a generic store-bought four point name brand bun and scooped out some bread from the top so that when weighed in grams, it would come to three points. So low point bun hack, it's you know plentiful, less expensive to purchase store bought, uh, store brand four point buns and just scoop out bread. Boom, three points done. And it's only two bucks a bag versus a lot of money buying the more expensive two point small buns that not everybody has access to. So the patty is made, the bun is made. Right now we are going to make a lemon white wine aioli that will be zero points on all plans. This is a half batch of my regular recipe that's in the regular uh, recipe pages. So this is just a small little one because it's just a burger for me. But I'm showing you the process, it's the same thing. So pretty much I'm going to be using two and a half tablespoons of plain fat-free Greek, putting it into one of the kids' little snack cups. Got to get the dad cred going. So two and a half tablespoons of plain fat-free Greek. And what else? I have one teaspoon of light mayo because one teaspoon is zero points. There we go. One teaspoon of light mayo. And then we have one teaspoon of Dijon. And then, it, this is zero point amount. We don't want to add too much white wine to this little bit on a dressing or it'll be really bitter and sharp. Yes, I did the base. So one teaspoon of white wine. You might think you need expensive white wine. I got the dollar store hooch, baby. Woo! Zero points on the black plan, though the black plan is how I ended up on Weight Watchers. Um, a quarter teaspoon of lemon juice and a half teaspoon of fresh chopped dill. I don't have any, so I'm going to use chives. Let me go get some because I forgot to get it. Alright. Like I said, I didn't have any dill, so I just ran outside and grabbed some chives and chopped those up. Well, the flavor will obviously be different, but you use what you got, especially if you aren't planning ahead of time to make a dish, so you don't get to go buy nice groceries for it. Um, and a little splash of lemon juice, going to do a quarter teaspoon about, And then salt and black pepper, come on. There we go, salt. So a little bit of cracked black pepper. And about a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now we are going to use our fancy warped from the washing machine, I mean dishwasher, plastic fork. And we're just going to mix this up until well combined. So it's creamy, has a little bit of mayonnaise flavor. It has the fresh herbs, uh, salt, pepper, Dijon, lemon juice, and a little touch of white wine, which will pair nicely with the salmon. Yes, please. So we're going to set that aside and we are going to get the other accoutrements ready for our salmon burger. <coughs> Ooh, back of the throat. So pretty much, other than just having to 
<clears throat> Black pepper, baby. Uh, other than having to make the salmon cake and the dressing, this is a very simple to make burger. We just have a slice of tomato. Now, normally, like in the picture for the recipe page, I have a big slice, a single slice of red onion. Now, because I'm just making this with what I have on hand, all the grocery store had was bags of little onion, little red onions the other week. So I'm just going to do a couple of thin slices and we'll just overlap them. There we go. So they're on the thinner side. So instead of having one big slice, I'll just have them atop each other. And then a little bit of lettuce. I prefer, as I say over and over again, I like to use green leaf lettuce. The store only had red leaf. You use what you got, folks. If you only have iceberg, use that too. Like I tried making a burger last week where I didn't have any lettuce, so I ended up uh, thin slicing celery and putting that on the bottom. That was surprisingly delicious. Had it a nice savory crunch. And believe it or not, that's actually everything we need to uh, make our burger. We have the toasted buns, uh, the bread, not your own. We have our lemon and white wine aioli. We have our nice, delicious salmon patty. And then we have thin sliced red onion, tomato, and lettuce. And let's start building. All right, let's start making our sandwich. This is kind of like Build-A-Bear, except for you get to actually eat what you make. So we have our generic bun that I scooped bread out from the top bun to turn it from a four point bun to three when weighed in grams. Once again, I'm always trying to remind you guys about that. So we have our bottom bun. I am going to put, and of course, just for dad cred, here is my Peppa Pig spoon. Thanks, Jesse, for letting me borrow it. Going to put some of the aioli down on the bottom. There we go. And of course, just for picture, I try to put a little bit more towards the front so it shows up from the front. And I like to have this dark rain and overly toast. It looks nice. Um, I'm going to place some lettuce, so the aioli, and then lettuce. In case you get bored, just start humming the theme song from Jeopardy or something like that. Be supportive here, folks. And now a slice of tomato. The alternating, um, you can use as much or as little red onion as you like. I personally like the bite of red onion. So going to add the red onion and then the salmon patty. A little bit more of the aioli on top of that and then the top bun let's see oh uh, yes please a little bit more dressing i want you to be able to see it there we go and here mis amigos is our gargantuan, uh, delicious salmon burger um, a la Daniel. This is, for people on blue and purple, the only points on this are the salmon patty, which is one for the filling. Lettuce, tomato, onion, zero. The dressing is made here is zero points. The bun is three. So this is a huge salmon burger um, with a six ounce patty pre-cooked with all the, you know, the veggies and everything in it. This is delicious, gigantic, and, you know, Peppa Pig, photobombing in the background. And, yep, this is an awesome restaurant quality salmon burger that you can make at home for low points. Greenies, sorry, it's high points, higher points for you because of the salmon. 